Yo, what's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Comrade Zero Spike. Back again once again. And today, people, today we're here for Osama Sentai King of Oja, episode 41. And this episode was amazing. This episode was the betrayal, but not to, but the betrayal to the bad guys. See that Rackless? His plan has finally come to fruition, and he has gained the power that he was looking for, and now has the power to actually help the rest of our Sentai take down Duck Dead. And the it was pretty cool i like how he had this plan just to make sure he can get he can get him and get out alone by completely finding a way to get the other rangers out of the out of their business so they could you know so so he could exit so he could execute this plan and he really had duck dad uh, wrapped around his finger when it came down to approving it just how badass reckless actually is now reckless has done some dumb has has done some really bad things but it, this episode right here like proof like this is a this is another example of why he could be a good king if he really like you know was like a good guy but i think next episode we're gonna see why he has been this way and also going deeper into the hostie um history you know and you know the hostie history even you know knowing that doug dad has been like back to this back and forth on this planet for like two thousand years now and basically knows every hostie and most likely has been manipulating every hostie generation for the last 20 for the last twenty thousand for the last two thousand years and we see that um get out get out and Raculous are gonna be the ones to actually stop that cycle and I did like that we see it, but I because we knew that Raculous had some kind of plan he had going on in the background, which will probably was um, probably was getting the power that he needed because he knew that he wasn't nowhere near as powerful as uh, Doug Dad is, and also knowing that he not the stuff he stuff anything he could have tried to do to Doug Dad would have been for naught because Doug Dad is very omni. For all my power skills out there, freaking like omnipresent, freaking galaxy busting, freaking character, and he's like basically immune to every freaking thing. We saw that in the episode where um, they, in the beginning, where they tried to straight up jump him and use their, even using like their ultimate attacks and things like that, and nothing was really working. And we see that uh, even. Um, uh, Reckless had this fake plan of gathering all the people of Shogodom and then leaving Terra and then going to another planet and then killing the inhabitants of that planet and turning it to their own. Like that was his whole thing. Like that was his whole like weird plan that he told that Doug that he told Doug that he was gonna do. He even got um he even got um Dibolsky in on it too and Dibolsky was going uh, he was keeping his promise to reckless of, of the plan that they had going on and Dabowski we know is has always it was always like was always like with Raculous to a degree like he always was with Raculous he always had the deep and uh, deep inside scoops of what was going on with Raculous to a degree and yeah he also mentioned Suzume in this episode as well saying that Suzume, he really said like Suzume is on our side like she's been in the background doing stuff so but we haven't seen her at all but at the same time he says that she's in the background doing stuff so it was a crazy thing to admit even um himino said it was a crazy thing to admit that he that, you know that suzume is on our side even though what's going on and we see that raculous needed to beat uh gira and needed to put on this facade of, of defeating gira um just to appease Doug Dad to lead Doug Dad into a false sense of security. So he ended up he did request um Doug Dad to give him uh the powers of a jester and bestowing on him the powers of a jester and when he got that power he was actually he was actually able to hurt Doug Dad. And that was pretty cool. I like I knew Rackless we, we knew that Rackless had something going on. But I did also like the little the little gag that they had going on. I think I feel like this was Rackless way of getting his own little revenge after um Yanma had him sit on that like big whoopee cushion. I think this was maybe like a little form of revenge for him because he was getting back at the others for this. And 
had um, Yanba trying to uh, disarm these whoopee cushions that he that all the thrones were on. Like everybody could not get up from their thrones. If they did get up from their thrones, then these whoopee cushions would blow up. And um, except for Dabowski, now Dabowski, his was fake. And we knew uh, we knew his was fake. Well, after he got a call from Reckless to actually come and meet meet up with him and stuff, and he also manip and we see that uh, Dabowski also manipulated Gira to uh, get the get the lance from him, so he could end up inevitably giving it to Reckless, and we get the return of Reckless's um ultimate like his his big golden knight form which still looks a bit better than get you know it still looks a bit better than get us because you know they add that extra you know tone of silver in there and stuff like that which i still feel like get us looks do looks cool but reckless does overall look better and also we got to see the return of god king Oger in this episode and also with the return of die org also, yeah, like remember Diorg, you know, Bugnarok, you know, general stuff like that. Yeah, my boy came back in this episode, but he I guess he was just a dead husk. Like he was just a husk, like he couldn't um he couldn't speak or anything like that, but he was there and he had his powers and we see that God King Oger was able to uh, overall defeat him and also no other we didn't see any other jesters in this episode either like um we didn't all the other jester we saw in this episode was hottie bell and how she was manipulating the other um the other king's retainers to like distract them and you know distract them or force them to get up from their whoopee cushions but i feel like the only people we saw doing anything you know any like, other retainers doing anything was yanma's and um rita's but we didn't see Sebastian. Sebastian's not in this episode at all. We didn't see him doing. He wasn't doing anything to him, you know. And you know, Dabowski was in on the whole thing. So all the bombs were real. Like the bombs were real, but the only bomb that wasn't real was Dabowski's. So, um, yeah, uh, they ended up the only way. Like they ended up. Um, yeah, the only way they ended up getting off these chairs was that. Uh, Yama was getting tickled by his retainer and he ended up cutting the wrong wire and he ended up cutting the blue wire it turns out the blue wire was the wire hit what was the wire actually you know that he was supposed to cut and um, yeah it was the one he's supposed to he was gonna cut the red one at first but you know he ended up cutting the blue one and that it turns out that was actually the uh, correct one but yeah, and then that's when the rest of the uh, the rest of the team gets ready to go off and you know help out Gira because he's probably off right now doing something stupid. Like Jeremy said in the earlier episode, he told Gira not to go off and do anything stupid. Uh, we did see that uh, he they did end up gathering all of the uh, citizens of Shogodam and putting them inside the uh, inside the castle because you know to carry out this fake plan of going off and. Um, going off to find a new planet things like that we see that hottie bell used her powers on um hat guy and the other two retainers to like basically like distract everyone and uh hat guy basically was the was basically like the only person that would convince the people to get in the castle and get on the ship right so yeah like in the whole episode freaking reckless has dug that around his little bitty freaking finger he has dug that around his finger you know offering him things showing him plans that he has going on executing no plans to ask again the results and stuff like it was dope and then we get the actual fight between get and reckless and, and get has no idea what's going on either he still but he still wants to, he's still out here uh, fighting in uh fighting um fighting Raculous and then that's when Dabowski comes in and Dabowski ends up giving Raculous the lance and giving Raculous the power to transform into his ultimate form and overall like defeating Get Out. We even saw a flashback of them as kids and he talked about how you used to say all these good things. I want to be like you when I grew up when I grew up and stuff. I want to be like you and that's when uh -huh, Raculous kind of like gives him that fake hug and they keep fighting and then Raculous transforms and he ends up uh defeating Gira ends up defeating get out and when he does defeat get out that's when Doug deck shows up and tells him to go ahead and cut him up and then that's when he gives raculous the power of a jester and actually gives him a full jester name 
So now Rackless is a full on jester now. But then the tables turn as when uh, Rackless turns around and slashes freaking Doug Dead a few times and it actually hurts him. And he tells Gida to get up. It's time to save the universe. And I was like, yo, this is dope. And the next episode seems like they're trying. Uh, Rackless talks about stopping the cycle of Doug Dad coming over and just completely manipulating the king of hot the king of Shogodon. So oh man. So the episode ends up right there, man. I'm really looking forward to seeing the next episode. We're gonna see the brothers actually team up. Hopefully I don't want to see Rackless die. Like right as of right now, like right now I don't want to see Rackless die, man. It looks like it, it, it looks like he's gonna be kicking the bucket in the next episode, but I hope not. I really hope not because he just got this, man. I, I kind of want him to stay around just a little. I don't mind him dying. I just don't think it is the right time for him to die. I would, what, th at this point, I really wouldn't like for him to die. But um, maybe get really, really hurt. You know, he looks really hurt. And I, I just hope he doesn't die, like, overall. But this episode was dope, man. And, um,. You guys, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this episode, man. And also, make sure to hit that card up there. Hit that annotation. You know, give me, you know, help me out here. You know, because that's how the algorithm works. And it also proves that my video, it proves to YouTube that my videos are actually worth caring about. So, yeah, guys, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm going to see you guys next time. And remember, stay kitchened.